This Think Tech commentary is dedicated to Joe Biden, President of the United States. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which is entitled Send in the Tanks. Germany has said it will not send its tanks to Ukraine unless the U.S. sends its tanks first. The U.S., however, says it will not send its tanks because they are too hard to maintain. This all seems questionable and disingenuous. The reluctance of the U.S. seems based on political fear and weakness. That has given cover to a divided Germany. This is not a credit to the Biden administration, which, as you may recall, stopped the initiative to send fighters after it became clear that Russia controlled the skies. Where does the buck stop? Where does leadership begin? The sanctions are clearly not enough. The Patriot missiles alone aren't enough to deal with Russia's coming spring offensive. Likewise, the Bradley fighting vehicles aren't enough. What Ukraine needs now are hundreds of Abrams tanks from the US and Leopard tanks from Germany. There doesn't seem to be any question about that. The Ukrainians desperately need these tanks, just as they needed the fighters a year ago. The Russians are doing war crimes and genocide daily, and Ukrainian civilians, men, women and children, are being killed every day. How long can the country last without being able to defend itself against this onslaught? Zelensky says, there is no option but for the West to provide the tanks. He is frustrated with the US and Germany. He holds out hope, even while the genocide continues. Other Ukrainian officials point out that this indecision is killing their people. They urge the West to think faster. Daily attacks on civilian targets have increased pressure on the West, but still the US and Germany avoid the issue. Poland has been urging Germany to clear the way for the tanks. Poland stands ready to send some of its own German tanks, but it needs Germany to sign off on that. Things are at an impasse. Must a decision on this required the complete destruction of Ukraine? And the killing of millions more of its people? So far the pressure for the tanks is mostly coming from the ministers of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, who are Russia's neighbors and understandably concerned. Western officials met in Germany a few days ago. They had hoped to reach a deal on sending the German tanks to Ukraine, but sadly that meeting ended without a decision, even though it seems clear that Putin's coming spring offensive could be existential for Ukraine. We cannot be part of this continuing indecision. Someone has to stand up and give Ukraine what it needs to defend itself from this invasion. The tanks Ukraine needs are anything but a provocation, they are to defend a country that is being brutally attacked. Joe Biden could break this impasse. He could be the leader that we need to save Ukraine. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.